you're looking to learn and celebrate Juneteenth, head on down to the Rosa Parks Museum in downtown Montgomery for the annual Juneteenth celebration. Joining us now in studio, Commissioner Isaiah Sankey and Donna Beisel with the museum. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you for having us. It's good to be here. Donna, we'll start with you. The Rosa Parks Museum has been holding Juneteenth celebrations for what, eight years now? This will be our eighth commemoration, yes. What are you looking forward to this year? Just, you know, hopefully the weather will hold out, like I just said, um, but, you know, bringing the community together, together, showcasing local talent, informational vendors that people may not know, you know, are in our area that they can take advantage of, and then just having a good time. Commissioner Sankey, why is it important for people in Montgomery and the surrounding areas to celebrate Juneteenth? Well, of course, Juneteenth is, is considered the second emancipation uh, when the President Lincoln, you know, signed the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. It was two years later before the slaves in Texas actually got the message. So it's just part of history uh, that we need to, uh, to understand. And also, I want to say that pathways to freedom involve economics, education, housing, health care. And so we're going to have components there this year that has to do with education. We want to celebrate. We also so want to educate, so we'll be talking about decreasing the, the, the wealth, gap, wealth gap through home ownership. I'll be there uh, with the Mr. Gilliard. He's be there, he'll be there all day with his Think Big uh, summer program. And I'll also be talking about men health. Uh, June is Men Health Month, and we'll be talking about heart disease, prostate cancer, diabetes, obesity, ex obesity et cetera. Donna, why is it important to have all of these elements? Rosa Parks Museum, obviously you all talk about history. Commissioner Sankey mentioned home ownership, men's health. Why is it important to have all these components come together for the celebration? It, like he said, it's about celebrating, but also educating people and bringing all walks of life together to help build that wealth, to help give them knowledge and help make their lives better. And it's not just about educating for the celebration. There'll also be some entertainment right, there. Yes. <laughs> what else can people do? So we'll have live music throughout the day. Shayla Mitchell will be our MC, keeping the crowd motivated going. Uh, we have a kids area for, you know, there's a bounty house, games, and then we'll have free admission to the museum. The city's 1950s bus will be there. The Freedom Rides 1960s Greyhound bus will also be there. So people can step on those and step back in time to see what it was like during those periods. Commissioner Sankey, what else do you want people to know about this event, specifically men? You mentioned men's health, and I'm sure as you know, men don't always reach out to, for help, and they don't always like to talk about their feelings or what's going on in their lives. Th that is true. So we have to educate them. We have to get rid of the stigma associated with, uh, you know, being manly and so forth, and not wanting people to know, you know, that you have some ailments, and particularly when it comes to uh, your sexual health. Uh, prostate cancer is uh, certainly right at the top of the list when it comes to those cancers that contribute to death in men, and we want them to know about that and not be afraid to talk about it. Heart disease and what you can do to help prevent heart disease, and how to you deal with obesity and making sure you choose uh, a healthy diet. So all that is important in terms of quality of life. If you're going to celebrate great freedom, you need to be healthy uh, in order to, to, to properly celebrate freedom. And so we want to talk about men's health on tomorrow as well as listen to the music and eat the good food. <laughs> health is wealth, truly. Yes. yes. Donna, you all will have free admission at the museum as well. Is this entire event free? Do people need to register? What can they do to attend? Nope, it's free. Of course, if they want food or to buy merchandise, there is a charge for that. But the event itself is free. Come listen to the music. That's all free. Admission to the museum is free as well. And most important thing we know is at the Rosa Parks Museum this weekend. What time will you all be out there? 11 to 5 tomorrow. <laughs> Right. Commissioner Sankey, anything else you well, want to say about this weekend? It's just that uh, we support uh, this event. Uh, the County Commission has always supported it financially. And Troy University has always uh, valued diversity and inclusion. And so this is just another example of what Troy University does. And always a fun <laughs> event. And the beauty of it, too, I know we're fingers crossed that the weather will be beautiful, <laughs> but the museum is a beautiful location to come and hang out for right. the admission and learn, be entertained, and take advantage of some of the things you all yes. are offering. Yes. And next year, I'll hopefully get my T-shirt. Before we come on, you I did not You get, didn't bring him a T-shirt? I did not. He didn't tell me the size he needs. I could have guessed, and then I would have gotten in really trouble. Next year is year nine, so you better come with a T-shirt yes, next year. <laughs> Don Isaiah, thanks so much for joining us here Thank on you. Alabama Live. Pleasure.